Jake Sanderson, listen, I want everyone to get paid. I want everyone to make as much money as you can because you're going to be sitting here like me in the up dog. I'm 40. He's about to be 40. He's complaining about his roof keeping and he wishes he had made a few more scratches. But eight years, 64 and a half bananas. He's played 77 NHL games up dog. He's got four goals for 32 points. Like, I think he is going to be good. And, and maybe the cap's going to go up and they're thinking this will be a steal. But I, the, the old school guy in me, you know, the Ottawa Senators, a lot of pressure on these kids now. I love their captain, Brady Kachuk. I hope Sanderson turns out to be the player he is. But 64 bananas to me, I don't know, man. 77 games played. I, I don't know. We'll see how it pans out, but that's a lot of dope. Count his goals on four, one hand. Four, four goals. goals. Um, what stands out to me is this guy now, as of next year, will be making as much or just a little bit less than Kale McCarr. Wow. That's wild. Um, the philosophy behind this stuff, I just don't get... Uh, I, I, who, who's got the crystal ball, really, right? Like, well, what are these What are these people thinking? That the cap goes up tremendously in the next four or five years? Do like, hockey players sit at a camp like football or basketball or any of that? Huh? Do, do hockey players sit at a camp like any of the NFL or NBA guys? Do they hold out? Like, hold out? Um, there's, there's always threats they do, I mean, yes. Z- uh, Zegers is on his way to holding out here. Zegers is on, on, on our, our yeah. play, doesn't have a deal, so Zegers right. maybe hold out. Uh, the last big holdout, Max, was, to answer your question. Nylander? was William Nylander. He went down to the very last day. So the way it works in the NHL is you have to like December something. And then if he doesn't sign by then, he's done Can't for the play. year. Yeah. Can't play. So yeah, Max, there has been a few guys sit out, but not like not like, like football. the NFL where it's like every year there's a handful of guys that are sitting at a camp. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, a lot of guys don't have much power, bargaining power. And, and like, you know, the proof is in kind of the st- stats or the pudding here. Where their stats, if they're the same as other guys, like arbitration just usually gives them, um, you know, the set price and it's take it or leave it type right. deal. But in this case, this kid like is a second year, third year yeah, player. Yeah, first round pick. So his dad's Derek Sanderson used to play. I think we, you might have played against him. You played against everyone. Um, okay, well, first he round got traded pick. for loops. Derek Sanderson? Yeah, we traded him from Philly to Edmonton for loops. And, you know, Yoni Pitkin in, it was for Jeff Jeff Sanderson? Jeff Sanderson, yeah, not Derek this, Sanderson. My bad, Jeff yeah, Sanderson. Jeff Sanderson's kid. Wow. So listen, I'm I'm happy for this kid. Fucking enjoy his fun. Edmonton. Then. Get you treat yourself to a nice cottage. No, he's American. He plays for he's American born kid. Oh, so while he was playing in the U.S. But, yeah. Okay. But let, let's put it in perspective. Kale McCarr makes nine bananas. This guy's making eight. Petro Angelo is making eight point eight million. That's crazy for the next four years. Yeah. Now Sanderson's not even in the same ballpark as this guy. Like, what's wrong with a three year deal? At five million a year, and if he does prove you wrong, then you say, hey, "Okay, buddy, fine. All right, the cap went up and cost us. Instead of you know now he's eight, now he's making maybe ten. But I think if he's only on a three year deal, it I, I don't know. I just question their develop. Like, is he going to be as hungry to develop? I I don't know. pull up pull. Up, you got this Ottawa Senators up the cap friendly stuff. I do. Well, how many guys in their top five now are making all the money? Brady. It's funny you say that. So there was a thing that you know the Leafs get a lot of heat. About, yeah, yeah. So now. Basically, Stutzel, Stutzel, Brady Kachuk. Kachuk. Um, I guess Batherson you want to throw in there. Oh, no, no, he's a first. He's a first. No, go Shabbat. to the D. Shabbat. How much is he making? Eight. eight. See, so eight. Yeah. Sanderson, eight. Yeah. Chickren, 4.6. That's not bad. But basically, in Stutzel or Stutzel, Kachuk, Shabbat, um, Sanderson, and one more guy. I think they counted Batherson. I think that's who they counted. They're basically, they got $42 million tied up or something like that, or $43 million tied up. And basically not even one full line. Yeah. I mean, this guy, Pierre Dorian, gave all these boys, like, I don't know. We'll we'll see how it plans out. And like I said, up dog, I'm happy for him. I just, as an old player, ex-player sitting here, I don't know. It just seems to give these guys that much is, is a lot of money. So 